Today, the Idaho Freedom Foundation asked the Supreme Court to block Medicaid expansion, declaring it unconstitutional. Six on Your Side's McKenna King joins us live from the courthouse with the reasoning behind the foundation's claim. It's a proposition more than 60% of Idahoans voted in favor of in the midterm election, raising controversy immediately, and now the Idaho Freedom Foundation is suing the state, arguing it gives too much power to the federal government. Proposition 2 has a major flaw, and that major flaw is it gives Congress the ability to make decisions about what Medicaid looks like in the future without our state legislature or Idaho voters even being considered or being involved. The Idaho Freedom Foundation says Prop 2 passed by Idaho voters last November wasn't worded well enough to keep federal funding in Idaho control. Under Medicaid expansion, the federal government would fund 90% of the costs to expand the program to cover individuals in the gap, making too much money for Medicaid but too little for subsidies through the Affordable Care Act. Wayne Hoffman arguing Congress could at any time change that health care law, leaving it up to the state to fund the other 90% of Medicaid expansion, which he argues could mean cuts to other programs. That includes public schools, it includes infrastructure, it includes the prison system, police system, park system. There are a lot of different programs that could be affected if the Medicaid match is changed. The state argues the lawsuit is putting the cart before the horse, saying constitutional challenges like this arise more often than we realize. Part of the flaw of this case is that the petitioner is seeking to arrest the implementation of a statute by suing someone that has nothing to do with the statute. It takes the power of the people to pass an initiative. The state argues it is Idahoans who voted for Medicaid expansion originally, with more than 60% supporting the proposition. I don't see that this court can give any comfort to those people other than the fact of allowing the statute to go into effect. A decision from the Supreme Court is expected within the next month. Even as the lawsuit is being weighed at the Supreme Court, legislators at the State House will continue to build the laws surrounding Medicaid expansion in this legislative session. Live in Boise, McKenna King, six on your side. And following that hearing, the Idaho Freedom Foundation held a rally outside the Supreme Court in regards to the Medicaid expansion lawsuit. Their argument during the no zombie lawmakers rally that, quote, Idaho lawmakers should write laws, not unelected state bureaucrats or D.C. politicians. Stating anything else turns state legislators into zombies.